Hello, my friends. Today, the occupies continue intensified assaults with columns of motorized infantry. The situation is extremely challenging, but despite it all, the Ukrainian armed forces continue to execute their counteroffensive plan. Consequently, offensive actions persist and there are even some successes. Let's begin with the fact that in the Kherson direction, Ukrainian forces have been attempting offensive actions for the third consecutive day, aiming to expand footholds for further movement to the south. Ukrainian armed forces report new successes and advancements in the area. The general staff, however, has yet to officially confirm these reports. Therefore, updates on the map may not be imminent, uh, but the fact that the attacks are progressing successfully is encouraging. In turn, the Russians continue to express dissatisfaction. Everything is the same. Unsuccessful assaults on the village of Krynk continue. Today there were only a few of our rapid assaults from the direction of the forest. They can even be called outings. In other words, now in the GV Dnipro under the command of Teplinsky, they have fought to the point that they have switched to the tactics of partisans, making attacks from the forest to the settlement and back. Today, groups from the 144th Motorized Rifle Brigade took part in these sorties. Yesterday we rejoiced early that our artillery finally began to work normally on Krinky again. Overall, there is nothing better than significant problems for the enemy. Therefore, today is the perfect time for the Ukrainian armed forces to take advantage of this situation and scatter the occupies on the left bank. Additionally, satellite images of the village of Krynke surface today confirming a substantial number of air bomb shelling on both the village and the river bank. In the Zaporizhia direction, the occupies failed to improve their positions along the front line. Today, battles are confined uh, to the vicinity of Verbove. Uh, notably, over the day, the occupies launched only one attack, and their activity diminished afterward. While shelling persists, it, its frequency has decreased. In the Vuhlidar direction, shelling continues along the front line, but as of the time of creating this video, the activity has slightly decreased. No new attacks are reported here. In the Avdiivka direction, the Ukrainian forces are putting up a formidable defense preventing Russian attacks and avoiding the encirclement of Avdiivka. 30 attacks were repelled within a day. Today, battles persist in the areas of Novobakhmutivka and Stepove. Uh, near the coke and chemical plant and the industrial zone, all Russian attacks failed. No new offensive actions are reported today. On the southern flank, there is no success for them either. Battles near Severny were unsuccessful and today attacks are ongoing only in the areas of Peromaisky and Nevelsky. Further south, in the Marinka area, their situation remains highly tense. The Ukrainian armed forces have repelled 16 attacks within a day. The occupies continue attempts to break through to Georgievka, launching offensive actions from several groups on different sides. Shalin of the village is also reported. In the Krasnohorivka area, the occupies are trying to break through to the outskirts, but the Ukrainian armed forces repel all attacks and the front line remains unchanged within the day. Uh, battles persist around Novomikhailovka, 
where the occupiers continue storming the Ukrainian positions from both sides, but no progress is reported and the front line remains unchanged. In the Bakhmut direction, uh, the occupiers persistently assault Ukrainian positions near Ivanovsky, Klushivka, and Andreevka. Uh, within a day, the Russians attempted uh, six attacks, but all were unsuccessful. The Ukrainian armed forces successfully destroy their groupings, and the front line remains unchanged. In the Siversk direction, active battles continue, but the occupies unable to achieve success in the areas of Bilohorivka and Vernyokaminsk uh, have changed the direction of their attacks. Now uh, they are storming the village of Vesela and attempting to break through the fields um, to the same village from the north, aiming to capture a frontline segment of uh, four and a half by four and a half kilometers. Uh, additional offensive actions persist on Bilohorivka and fights uh, continue in the forest with the occupiers moving towards Rehorivka. Within the day, there are no changes along the front line, but the battles continue. So, we await further developments. In the Krimina area, the number of attacks has increased with nine attacks conducted within the day near Terny, Yampolivka and Torsky, and an additional 15 attacks near Makivka. There is significant intensification here, and today there are more offensive actions in this direction than around Bakhmut. Uh, for now, Within a day, there are no changes along the front line, but the battles are highly active, so we await further developments. In the Svatova area, the occupiers show no signs of activity as before, and only shelling in Berestova is recorded, with no changes along the front line. In the Kupinsk direction, the occupiers failed to break through to Sinkivka. Today, all attacks have ceased and only shelling along the front line is observed. Meanwhile, Putin continues to tell tales uh, about Russia being ready for negotiations in the spring of 2024, accusing Ukraine of leaving the negotiations. <laughs> отказавшись от переговоров, они же отказались от переговоров. Ну, напомню, с Стамбуле обо всем договорились. Говорю это вам, представители муниципальной власти. Ну и все граждане России, конечно, должны знать. Но вы напрямую с людьми работаете. Мы же договорились обо всем. Больше того, руководитель переговорной группы со стороны Украины поставил даже под этим свою подпись. Подпись стоит. У нас документ лежит. Нам только говорили, надо знак какой-то подать, что вот Россия действительно намерена пойти вот на решение этих вопросов мирным путем. Надо войска отвезти от Киева. Отвели. Через день они выбросили в помойку все договоренности. Сейчас публично сказали, в том числе руководитель этой самой переговорной группы. А он, между прочим, <coughs> руководитель <coughs> правящей партии в парламенте, в Раде. Сказал, да, мы были готовы, мы это упустили, поскольку приехал тогдашний премьер-министр Великобритании, Великобритании господин Джонсон и уговорил нас не, не реализовывать эти договоренности. Ну, придурки, нет? И, и, и прямо говорить, ну вот если бы значит, мы пошли бы на это, уже все давно бы было закончено полтора года назад. Also in Bashkatarstan, uh, one of the largest protests in the Russian Federation since uh, the full-scale war against Ukraine has begun. Special forces are dispersing their gathering. Thousands of people have gathered near their courthouse to support a local activist accused of inciting hatred. Uh, today, the court sentenced him to four years 
in a general regime colony. And that's all from me. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest news. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.